Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. I am back with a super dope video. Uh, a little bit of story time. I just got back from Milan, Italy. First time in Italy. And I went with Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath Labs and her team. This video is brought to you by Pat McGrath Labs. Thank you so much for the awesome trip. I'm excited to share this video. Honestly, it's such a insane trip that I can't believe I got to be a part of and I'm really excited to share it with you. If you've seen the Versace show for Milan Fashion Week that just happened, um, you've seen the iconic photos and creation of the makeup from Pat McGrath and her team. I was super lucky, honored, blessed to be backstage. I got to meet obviously Pat McGrath again, which is freaking I fangirl every time, like every time I see her, it's like a little bit embarrassing because I actually freak out, like, freaking out right now. Like I freak out. <laughs> it was so crazy backstage. I was just trying to stay all the way because I wanted to see the magic all come together. I got to meet Donatella Versace, like, had a moment, a little cry. I'm a cry. I got to meet Nicki Minaj, which was amazing. Obviously, I told her I loved her. I was gonna propose, but I just thought, it might not have been the right time, you know what I mean? And it's just a really cool, awesome experience. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and I'm gonna show you how to get this inspired by look. So this is my inspired by kind of look of what they did backstage for the makeup. I'm using Pat McGrath products to create the look just like she did. And stay tuned at the end to see some of the snaps and IG stories I did that disappeared after 24 hours. So if you didn't get a chance to watch them, I'm gonna attach some of my faves at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So if you wanna see how to get this look and get the tea of what went on backstage, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So I'm just gonna jump right to the good stuff. I'm gonna use my bronze Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Highlighter Balm Duo. I'm just going to use the balm first just on the tops of my cheekbones, brow, chin. Browns I'm gonna do kinda everywhere. So I want this to mix in with my foundation. And this is just gonna give a nice little glow, you know. Next, I'm gonna take my foundation, my Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream in Cafe. The skin on the girls at the show. I was lucky to be able to see start to finish and like they were just glowing perfect goddesses. Major skin goals back there. I'm not using as much as I normally would for foundation because I kind of want to look like a glowing bronze goddess. I'm going to massage it in with my fingers. The queen uses her fingers too on other people so I was like yes for the finger blend. And that just like the balm and the the highlight together just makes like really nice glowy skin. I don't even have highlighter on yet, like on top. I'm already glowing, sis. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Medium Tan Concealer, and I'm just gonna do a nice little pick me up, little V shapes under the eyes, maybe a little on top of the lid, do the most. Down the center of the nose, underneath the other eye, obviously. And then to blend it, we're gonna obviously use our fingers. Just nice little tappies. And I'm just using the warmth of my hand to let the product kind of melt into my skin and into the highlighting balm duo. Just makes your skin nice and dewy, you feel me? Ooh, yes. And that um, highlight balm duo, really amazing for winter time or when you get drier too because it feels really hydrating. It's nice to kind of switch up from powder to cream when you're getting into the drier months. It just goes on smoother. Oh god, we are highlighted, concealed. I'm gonna go in with the gold for I was using bronze while my concealer is kind of wet. I'm just gonna tap that into my skin on the very highest point so I get super dewy, ooey gooey deliciousness, you feel me? Down the center of the nose, anywhere that your skin or your face, your bone structure sticks out or stands out. That's what you wanna highlight. I'm gonna do a little through the brow too. I mean, you can have it real extra, but I'm just kinda doing like a sexy skin glow. That skin is delish. I'm gonna do my brows real quick uh, off camera cause they're gonna be intense. Okay, now my eyebrows are larger than life, obviously. And I'm gonna get into eyes, which I'm very excited about because this trip was in celebration of the Mothership 
5 palette. Um, hello. I use this every day on my trip. The swatches are just everything. The sparkle is everything. The pigment is everything. There's nothing that I've felt that's really like it. So, pretty freaking excited about that. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this palette, but because I wanna recreate the look that they had backstage at the Versace show, still cannot freaking believe that I went. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Mothership 2, this one here, to get into this really beautiful green color. Like, look at this. Did you bust a nut? Cause I did. Oh. So they did this really beautiful like green smoky kind of pulled out eye. Like honestly she's a makeup genius and it was just such an honor to be backstage at such an iconic show and see her work. A queen. I got a little emotional a few times. I think I've given myself a little bit of a rep for being a crybaby. So I'm gonna go into that beautiful green and I'm gonna take a flat shader brush, this fella right here, and I'm just gonna start making my shape with this green green. So I'm just going to pretty much go for it because I know this is going to be a fully green dream eye. I want it to kind of hug right into my crease and this is like obviously just an inspired by look. This isn't the exact thing because you know. And I'm just kind of letting it roll on top of my eyeball, winging it out almost like to a little point. I'm not dipping more onto my brush, I'm just gonna pull out what I have left. And bringing it into the center just a little bit. Uh, everybody in the show was rocking this eye. It just suited everybody so well and it brought the whole look together. Like, honestly, I'm still floating off of this off of this trip because it was insane. Same thing on this side, just doing a little wing and then just giving her on the lid. And again, rolling just on top of my eyeball to keep my kind of guideline. And I'm just gonna tilt my head back to make sure that they're kind of even. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black that's in here, right here. Just to give this a little bit more body, I'm just going to fluff that over top of the green to make it a little bit darker and to give it slightly more dimension just on the outer part but it still keeps that green green but gives it a little bit more um dimension so i'm gonna get into this uh new little baby to the family the mothership five love this palette and i'm gonna take my finger and this lightest shade here i'm gonna go right in the center just to kind of highlight because i noticed it was almost like a little bit of a halo eye but just very slightly and i think that's for some of that dimension and then I'm gonna go into this color right here. It kind of reflects like greeny, yellowy gold. Mostly just a very yellow gold. And I'm going to layer that on top for some glitter. I love these because it's like a nice way to wear glitter without getting it in your flipping eye. And you can use it wet or dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of that lightest color again here and just do a little in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm using the same brush just so that a little bit of the green can transfer and then we're okay with that, you know what I mean? Now this is why I did my bronzer and everything last because I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer and I'm just gonna snatch the shape up a little bit so it's more defined. I'm gonna do the same on the top as well so it's extra defined. That way you can be a little bit more free with how you're applying it. You don't have to worry so much. You can just go ahead and snatch it up with a little brush. So you don't have to panic. I'm gonna clean up right in the inner corner where I got a little bit of the green. Backstage, the makeup was all done so flawlessly and so beautifully and couldn't believe what I was seeing with my eyes. I can't believe somebody like me is here being acknowledged by like my idol to be invited to Milan. To go to a Versace show, I was just like, made me cry. It makes me wanna cry right now, but I'm not gonna be that person, because I am that person. I really get taken back a lot, and I am somebody who does get a little emotional when amazing things happen, or just to be acknowledged or recognized, because I got everything on my own. And 
I know where I came from and how I used to live and I'm just really blessed to experience these opportunities. Freaking Pat McGrath, like, it really hit me when I was backstage and Donatella Versace walks in and I was just like, holy, I'm gonna keep my distance because there's like a legend in our presence. And then Pat McGrath is like, Sandra, come here. Get the girls talking about me and Jackie, and I was like, oh my god. She's like, this is Sandra, and Donatella's like, nice to meet you. And I was just like, oh, nice to meet you too. I freaked out. And then Jackie met her too, and then her and Pat continued to talk, and then I was like freaking out a little bit, and I just excused myself. Well, because I was kind of talking people after, and I was like, okay, I'll be right back, and I just had a bit of a moment. I just feel really blessed that I was chosen to take part in something like this, and I got really overwhelmed, and then, I mean, later on I met Nicki Minaj, which was really cool because I've been buff into her for a very long time. Same thing, I saw her walk in and I kept my distance and then Pat was like, get the girls, come over here. And I was like, it's happening. And she's like, this is Sandra, these are very, and this is Jackie, these are very phenomenal makeup artists. And I was just like, I was gonna cry right there. But I chose not to, instead I said, Nice to meet you, Nikki, I love you so much. She's like, oh, thank you so much, nice to meet you. I was all like, gagged, okay? Freaked out, shook to my core. Just like coming off of fangirling over Pat McGrath and then those two, and then of course, all the models backstage like Gigi and Bella Hadid and Kendall Jenner and Iman and honestly, there are so many, you just look at the show. I was backstage and I saw everybody, it was crazy. Also, backstage is not a chaotic place. It was pretty calm, it was organized. Never gonna forget this. I'm gonna bronze my face, cause I need it. And I'm gonna do the Maui Nice and Bronze Bondi by Becca Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the Bronze Bondi for my nose and then mix these two for my face. And I'm just doing just not too severe of a contour. I want my skin to still be very dewy wee gooey. I'll do a bigger fluffier brush for the bronzing. I'm gonna use my Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara. We'll do top and bottom right now. And I'm gonna keep it kind of low key on the lashes. Well, I'm gonna keep it low key for me. And I'm gonna use the Goddess Lashes by Lily Lashes. And I'm just gonna wiggle those down as close as I can to my lash line. Wow, that went surprisingly well. So next I'm gonna do lips. And I am obsessed with the Gold Astral Lip Fetish, which is a lip balm. This one's kind of like sheer with a little bit of like champagne and gold glitter in it. It's my fave. And I'm a huge fan of lip balm. Like, I wear lip balm more than lipstick, I think. So she extended her uh, lip balm range and made some tinted ones. So this is the one she posted on her Instagram. She's using on the model Suck Sexy. And then I just saw this one and it's nude uh, called Blow Up. So I want to use those two together. Also another thing I couldn't believe that happened after Pat McGrath had been working. She doesn't stop working and she doesn't sleep first of all. But we ended up going to dinner, the group that we were with, at like 10.30. And she ended up surprising us, Pat McGrath, and joined us for dinner. It was just really crazy to hear her story of how she got started, where she started, how it was in the beginning, and how far she's come now. And it was just really cool and super inspiring. It was such an honor to have her there at dinner. Like, I'm gonna tell everybody I had dinner with Pat McGrath. Hella blessed, I just feel super blessed. So that was really inspiring. And that's where we got these new lippies. So I'm gonna use the six Sexy in the center. And I'm gonna take blow up, mix it in on the outer parts. I just wanna stain, you know? <sighs> Love these. So that's the look. These are the lips after they warm up. It always looks so bob when you let it warm up to your body temperature, it just melts. So 
that I'm obsessed with the lip fetish. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again, like huge, huge thank you, Pat McGrath and Pat McGrath Labs for inviting me out on such a unforgettable trip to learn more about the products, to share the products with you that I've fallen in love with. I'm gonna leave some of my Snapchats from the trip behind just in case you missed them because it's so much fun. I want to keep it lasting forever, not just the 24 hours. So I'll attach those at the end. You guys can have a little sneak peek behind the scenes and see little clips of the show. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow, love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Mother love it, me, Lizzie. I can't believe it. I'm feeling hella blessed. So I'm super happy to say that I'm in Milan with Pat McGrath. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Let's look at this stuff together. And the I'm mad disrespectful. I opened it and it went all over my hand. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go backstage at Versace um, with obviously mother Pat McGrath, but here auntie. I'm with everyone's favorite auntie. Hello. <laughs> Jackie's getting blessed right now. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I'm just freaking mad. Nicki Minaj and Dolly Taylor is actually with having a. I might have an anxiety attack.